Okay, so that's morning register done. Uh, everyone line up, we'll go outside and play a game of rounders. What's that? Should we be doing some sats practice? No, I've got to get my swing on. Hi guys, Mr P here. Now I know there are thousands of teachers up and down the country a little bit worried, a little bit stressed with these really, really important, really, really useful, absolutely flawless SAT tests that are coming our way in a couple of weeks. So I thought I'd try and put a smile on your face by bringing you a little video. So here we go with things teachers never say in the build up to SATs. Enjoy. Okay, class, let's get our art books out. Listen, don't worry about putting your name on the front of the paper. We'll be able to know it's yours by just how bad it is. <laughs> right, guys, so with the first few questions in your paper, I want you to really take your time and stew over them. Some say these are the most important questions in the whole test. No, no, not those big ones at the end with the big boxes. <laughs> let's be honest, most of you won't even get that far. What's that, what am I doing? Hey, I'm just checking out holidays for the summer. Maybe get two weeks in Bahamas. Hey, when my performance related pay comes in from your results, I'm gonna be going big. I mean, you can read through the question carefully if you want, but I mean, I won't bother. What else do we need to revise here? Angles, when you do that, year four. Well, I'm sure all that learning stuck when you did angles in year four. Yeah, when your teacher was signed off with stress and you had about 25 supply teachers in three weeks. Yeah, that would have stuck. All right. Yeah, we'll move on then. Listen guys, if I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. The content we're covering on these tests are so important and you'll refer back to them your whole life. I tell you what class, the quality of the writing in these reading tests is unbelievable. The storytelling is just incredible. How these are not bestsellers, I'll never know. I mean, they must be giving more Pergo a run for the money. I cannot tell you how excited I am to do some more practice papers. Oh, guys, mind blown. Look at what Jamie's just done here, right? Absolute game changer. That massive question at the end with the huge box, and it's, I know it says three at the side, but what Jamie's done is he's just, he's just answered the question by writing yes and made sure every letter's huge so it fits the whole box. Initiative, lad, well done. I'll tell you what, class, if one of the children at the front of this SATS paper used in all the questions has the same name as one of you lot, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. Let's have a look. Oh, no way, Amir. Oh, as if. I tell you what, just keep yourselves busy. I've got to tell everyone about this. Question four. Amir bought 54 pineapples. I mean, Amir, why would you buy 54 pineapples? I tell you what, come to the front, tell us all about it because, I mean, we've got all the time in the world. Do you know what? I reckon I've probably done the least amount of photocopying in the past few weeks out of everyone on the staff. Of course I know what present progressive tense is. <laughs> what are you like forgetting where you put your pencil? <laughs> oh no, I'm sure it's just a short term memory thing. You'll definitely be able to remember everything that you covered in autumn term in year three and be able to apply that knowledge now in year six to pass these tests. Oh, I've got no doubt in my mind. Listen class, I don't really care if you get the right answer. If you can just answer a question, which is pure banter, and I can post it on my Instagram page for loads of likes, that's what I'm more bothered about. Make sure you take those letters home and give them to your parents. No, you don't need to read them. Please don't read them. Um, what are they about? Uh, right, well, if you can keep a secret, basically it's our way of lying to your parents to tell them that we really value everything else that isn't tested on these sats. Even though we've wasted pretty much all year prepping for these sats, this is a way in which we can sort of get your parents on side so they don't have a go at us. So just give, yeah, give those letters. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes us look really good. Yeah, yeah. All right, cheers. When it says show you working, if you just draw a picture of yourself with a thought bubble thinking, I reckon that'll get you the marks, no doubt. Crying? No, children, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying even though you've got zero on this test and they're in a week and we'll probably get the worst results I've ever had which means I'll be put on capabilities I'll probably be kicked out of the school and we'll probably get an Ofsted within the next term which means we'll get requires improvement and even more pressure on top of us no no I'm not crying because I'm crying because it's happy tears I'm just so happy we're getting to share this experience together so class let's have a look at our visual timetable for today because let me tell you it's an absolute cracker we're going to start with some spag 
followed by some maths and then during break uh, if you remember we're going to do a quick little arithmetic test so you might get out for a couple of minutes but then we're going to follow that with a reading comprehension practice paper followed by some more maths before we've got lunch but remember we're going to do a SATS revision booster during lunch so I reckon you'll get five minutes to have your lunch and then this afternoon <laughs> wait for this we've got more swag followed by some more maths and a little bit of English if we can fit it in before we have our after school SATS revision booster which uh, every one of you are coming to. But don't forget, you get a milk chocolate digestive biscuit for coming. I'll tell you what, well, looking at that, I'd probably be in prison, you get more freedom. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it relatable and it put a smile on your face. Please, please, please don't put any more unnecessary pressure on yourself. Please understand you can only do so much. So think in a couple of weeks, it'll all be over and then we can get back to doing that proper teaching stuff, which should be fun. So as always, please do like, share and get tagging your teacher friends in. And we'll be back, I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. Cheers.